This is a site that has never been seen before on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and I've lived there, never seen this one. A type of whale that can grow up to 85 feet long and 100,000 pounds washed up near the beach in past Christiane. And Meg Ferris is joining us here with more. Meg, this is the reason why I joke about this all the time. I stay out of the water because of <laughs> something being in there. And I didn't know you lived in past Christiane. Well, just this morning, Sharice, that whale was removed from the beach, but that was after it sat Saturday night under police security so that all day Sunday, scientists could return to gather rare tissue samples. The beach in Pascas Jan became a marine mammal laboratory for more than 30 federal and local scientists over the weekend. Someone spotted something huge in the shallow water of the Mississippi Sound and called the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies in Gulfport. They live in the wild. Uh, only two or three have ever been recovered in the Gulf. President and executive director of IMMS, Dr. Moby Solange, says this is an endangered fin whale, a juvenile male around four years old, weighing six tons. A rope was tied to his tail and a tractor pulled the 35-foot mammal to shore. Since he had recently died, scientists were able to do the necropsy right on the beach and gather rare tissue samples of this species. We did not see any human interaction, like any netting or any... Uh, prop marks or boat strikes or anything. When an animal does get sick uh, or they lose their group, or they head towards shallow waters uh, so that they don't drown and away from predators. So why did he separate from his pod in the deep Gulf water more than 100 miles offshore? His heart and lungs had parasites. His stomach was empty. No signs of the microscopic vegetation and animals he sucks in called plankton. Tissue samples are now in labs across the South to learn more about this little-known species and if he's trying to tell us something more about his home in the Gulf. Understanding their plight will tell you what's going on in the entire ecosystem. And basically what we're looking at is these animals as the canaries in the oceanic mine. And when they start dying uh, in unusual events, that means something terrible is going to be happening uh, to the rest of the ecosystem. He's talking about those uh, dead zones that happen in the Gulf from what comes down the Mississippi River. Now, IMMS will save the skeleton of the whale's head and neck, clean it up, and months down the road, they're going to put it on display in its Gulfport Museum. And by the way, its mouth gets to be the size of a large car. And no, Sharice, it can't eat you. <laughs> yes. It cannot eat you. <laughs> I already told you I'm afraid of everything in the water. I don't even want to deal with it. Nick, thank you so much.